Hey guys, thanks for joining today's test server session. Today we don't have to discuss lots of topics or no major topics. Maybe you have heard of it. Pixonet posted on Facebook a video where they announced that there won't be that much new stuff anymore in the future. Um, other than at the moment, uh, we have updates every four to six weeks with new bots or weapons or so on. And yeah, Pixonic decided to bring new bots or weapons in a period of three months, no longer four to six weeks. So they're gonna double to triple the time they bring new stuff. So yeah, that's why we don't have to discuss too many facts today. In the only things we have to discuss are some visual effects Pixonic decided to change. These are the visual effects of the shields, of the repair and of the hit. Yeah, it's easier to discuss those things while fighting, so let's just go through the line and setup quickly and direct it to the fight afterwards. The first bot is a pursuer, two times halo, one times gust, two thermonuclear reactor, a last stand module and a repair module. The second bot is a mender, two times spark, one scourge, two heavy armor kits, one thermonuclear reactor and the quantum radar. Then we have a mercury with two times halo, an avenger, two heavy armor kits, a last stand module and a repair unit. Then an RS with two shredders, two scourges, two heavy armor kits, a last stand module and a repair unit. And last but not least, a bulwark with two dragoons, three heavy armor kits and a repair unit. So this is my line and setup for the fight. And yeah, let's go there directly and have a look at those new visual effects. Here we go. It's a domination on the roam map, so let's take the Mender first. It may not be the fastest part on the field. Here we have a Hellburner, but it's fast enough and yeah, durable, especially for taking the center beacon. This is not the worst choice. Yeah, normally, or in other words, that what you, sh uh, what you should see here and what does not work properly anymore is the new visual effect of the healing. Normally you should see by now an electric impulse that runs up through the body, up and down, just like the, the green glow. Uh, and it looks like electricity running up and down in the same way the, the green light runs up and down. But I think Pixonic decided to, to disable this function or this visual effect. I don't know why, maybe due to the performance needed to to see it properly, um, yeah, and the the problem the and the gamers have on the test server with the with this performance needed, I don't know. Yeah, but what you can see is the new shield will effect. Yeah, it's very bright, clear, much clearer than it was. Or than it is now at the live server. Really looks cool, but there is also a problem with it. Let me say it that way. Again, of course, the performance problem. How much performance is needed to 
yeah, to keep this look alive yeah. on the one hand and on the other hand um, in a game I made earlier uh, I had a problem to see the enemy properly through this shield on larger distance. Uh, you have to uh, imagine there is an enemy standing 600 meters away. He's only uh, a little, uh, he's not that big on that distance. You can see him barely. And now you have this bright shining of your energy shield and you can't see through properly uh, as you have seen with this enemy and now imagine you have a weapon like the dragoon that needs uh, to be fired exactly on the hitbox of the enemy yeah and this is very hard to do if you can't see the enemy properly uh, okay the game is lagging, but not only due to the fact that it's the test server, uh, it's also due to the fact of my old smartphone. But yeah, I'm getting a new one. Oh, in other words, I already already got a new one. I have to just install all the the apps needed, and then next time I'm gonna take the video with my new device. Good news. <laughs> And last but not least, yeah, you can see lots of good looking uh, hits here. You, uh, you, have see, you can see the smoke, fire, fireballs, and so on and so on. When bullets or kinetic weapons hit metal, then you can see sparks and so on. Looks a little bit like the, the steam optic. Um, maybe you have seen some steam videos. Uh, the, the sorry that was my my tomcat uh, francis again you already might have heard him in a former video he sometimes yeah thinks he's the most important thing in the world so yeah okay back to the the main topic um yeah looks cool with the smoke, fire and, and the sparks and so on just like a little like the, the steam optic um, it's in 4k on steam and yeah looking really good but yeah needing lots of performance and this is something yeah I'm not really sure if the live server can handle such performance uh, just like the one with the with a shield, with the sprite looking shield. I'm not sure about that. I'm a mechanical engineer and we have a... Uh, yeah, there's an idiom in German that says um, form of the function. So it has to work first and then you can care for the look. So when the performance goes down, there's no need to, to change the look of something. Yeah, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, you have heard my opinion of those new visual effects. I'm always, like always, interested in yours, so please feel free to leave comments. Yeah, I did not too bad. Uh, I did not make the most damage, but I took five, five beacons, uh, two more than the other, or my, my teammates all together, so that was pretty good, I think though i didn't do the um, much damage um yeah if you liked what you've seen in the last 15 minutes please feel free to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please feel free to do so i always appreciate that and yeah that's it this was this week's very short test server session and there's nothing more to say than happy hunting and bye bye